Hey everyone, it's Frosty back here today with an all new video and are you facing problems like this? Well, if you are, then I have a pretty good solution for you because today we're talking all about pain. So recently, uh, a lot of you guys commented that you wanted to know how to improve or lower down your ping in any online game. I'm talking about any online game here, be it Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Fortnite, even GTA 5, which I hopefully think that you don't play it online because it's complete shit, and other games. So when we're talking about online gaming, then there are a lot of things that are needed to be taken into consideration because online gaming is all about internet performance. Like for example, if you're getting uh, 100 ping and your opponent's getting like zero, well then you're messed up. Talking about ping, there are a lot of things that are to be considered before we get started. The first thing that is that first of all, make sure that you restart your router. Please do that. Stop it. Get some help. It's really miserable to see that people don't restart their router and they get high ping and they complain that I'm getting high ping. It's foolishness. Restart your router. Once you have restarted your router, check your ping probably might have improved. It happens a lot in mine. I don't know why. So once you have done that, well, let's go into the video and just find out what else you can do. So the first thing that I want you to do is to remember a few things. There are a lot of things through which you can fix things like, you know, these ping stuff. And one of the things that I found the most are DNS. DNS is something really amazing to work around and fix things out. And one of the best DNS that I have found is 1.1.1.1. Well, this DNS uh, is a domain name server through which your ping could be improved in case you want to check it out. Here you go. So recently, if you know me, I have tried several DNSs like Google DNS, Cisco Open DNS. Well, I have seen that 1.1.1.1 absolutely provides way much lower ping as compared to Cisco and Google Open DNS. Well, let me show you how you can change your DNS if you're new here. Also, if you're new here, then make sure that you subscribe. Go into your control panel because that's where we always go. Go to network and internet settings here. Go to network and sharing center. And right here, you will see your connection type. It could be wireless, ethernet, or WiMAX. It doesn't matter. Just click on whatever it is. Go to properties. And right here, you will see internet protocol version four. Click on properties. And right here, it would be something like this. Opt in DNS server from address automatically. It could be like that. It could be something else but we're gonna use this one. In the preferred DNS section type one, go to next, one, go to next, one, go to next, one, down below, one, zero, zero, one. You can also get this site below in description. They there provide their server address and also they provide the step how you can set up this on different if you are on iPhone, Mac OS, Android, Windows or anything. Let's click on app validate settings upon exit. Click okay, close, close. There you go. You have a pretty decent internet now. Again, give your router a restart. Okay, once you have done that, we can move on to step number two. It would be a theoretical step. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that make sure that you have a wired connection when you're gaming. You might be having a wireless connection. You might be using a laptop for gaming and you might be using your WiMAX or Wi-Fi to just simply wirelessly connect your laptop to it and then play your games. Well, I would recommend that you use a wired connection. Just get your laptop and put it into in front of your Wi-Fi and then plug it a cable directly in the laptop or an Ethernet cable and into your Wi-Fi. That will certainly improve your ping by way high amount. And by that, I mean lower your ping, not increase it. When talking about wired connection, they are important because that's how the most fastest way of travel could be. And if, you, if you're seriously want to use Wi-Fi wirelessly, then move your laptop to closer to the, your router. Please do that. That is gonna give your Wi-Fi quite a boost. Now, here are other things that you can try. Well, I certainly know that people recommend that not to use VPNs. Well, I would still recommend using VPN because there are several benefits to VPN. Now, imagine this. A piece of art isn't it now say for example you're somewhere here in Europe because there's too much of traffic congestion reason being there are so many countries so many people different networks all open at the same time now what happens is that when you open up a network connection you're simply connecting to an online server to a game what happens is that there's several millions trillions of networks firing exactly at the same time and that's what you call an internet and what that does is that it totals the network congestion traffic and completely reroutes it to other directions and that's what causes the ping problems to go soaring rocket high. Now, one way to decrease it is to actually use a premium VPN. VPN services have defined path networks. These networks are 
like dedicated they are dedicated over a particular path and when that dedicated path is given to you you are the only one or maybe you are the one in few who are using that particular path which is not available to the internet outside so what that helps is that lower down your ping drastically also improve lag and even lower down your ping uh, which i already said before vpn services like hide my ass nord vpn express vpn and the one which i absolutely like is haste so these are actually both free and paid you can always try them now i can say that haste is uh, free also but it's also an alternative to isp's default path it's like but the only thing that it has that it gives you only one fast path but the best part is that it's actually giving you unlimited playtime which means like for example in certain DN uh, vpns they give you like this this is a particular vpn time and after that the vpn is going to go off but haste actually provides you quite a free so i would recommend that you guys just go in there try this vpn and maybe it might help you out you can always try nordvpn which is uh, which is something that i also like a lot and hide my ass and express vpn i have used before but they aren't as good as i come think that nordvpn is but still you can try haste because since it is free there are a lot of more free vpns out there but still i would recommend that you sign up being pro because it's just that it also there's no sponsorship here all t righty now all that done there are is one few ways that you can improve your ping even after if you're not doing this okay so the last way that we have is to disable background services because for example you are playing fortnite you're playing counter-strike global offensive online you're in a competitive game and certain suddenly you realize that steam is downloading some hell lot of files even your good old windows is downloading some amazing updates that are really useful for your pc which don't do a crap so let's disable them open up task manager now i did that magic by pressing ctrl shift escape to open up task manager directly or you can right click here open task manager okay once inside task manager we have two services and right here we got to search for windows update now it might not be in yours like that it could be something like this you can press w and keep pressing w till you find windows update it could be somewhere down there but uh, let me tell you it's called w-a-a-u-s-e-r-v which is windows update user or something like that the only thing you have to do is to right click and stop that service in mind it's already stopped so in yours it could be running so quick stop but make sure that you are actually not updating your pc because if you are then it's better to update your pc and then stop the service finally go to processes and see whichever process is running in the background which is not useful to you like for example the steam viewer it automatically opens every single time i close it even i disable it in startup but it opens I really don't know why it frustrates me a lot. So let's disable this. I'm gonna kick this guy's ass this time. End task. There you go. So. Okay. Once you have disabled your services and all the other things, I want you to give your PC a restart. Also give your router a restart. And then finally, start your game. Not restart. Start your game and see if your ping has improved. And if it has, then make sure that you comment down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and as always, make sure that you like, subscribe and share. Goodbye.